Davey, I don't know if you're if you're gonna miss our long car rides and carpooling and. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna miss. You're gonna miss it. Those nights. Those long nights together. Yeah, yeah. Just me, you, and the road. Oh yeah. For those of you who don't know, for the past four months, I've been borrowing Davey's car. He's been chauffeuring me around. My wife has let me borrow her car. Her her boss let me borrow his truck. Everybody I know has kind of reached out and <laughs> and been a huge helping hand during this time of just pure suckery. Gosh. Yeah. I feel like every time my head gets a little too big, life is just like, boom. <laughs> so anytime you flip your truck, it, it's not a fun time. But I came out, I didn't have any injuries, but the truck was, was definitely total. There was no coming back. I was planning on keeping that truck till I was 45, maybe 50. Mm -hmm. I was gonna drive it till the, the wheels fell off of it. I wanted to get a house and property and keep this whole shebang going before I got a new truck. Yeah, that was very obvious. The check engine light was always on every time I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why I stalled. Oh. The engine is so total, that's probably not even funny. Rest easy, step side, you'll be missed. Anyways, the, the part that really sucked is I flipped my truck right in the middle of potentially the worst truck market of all time, besides like a world war or something crazy. During COVID, for some reason, there was a shortage of chips for all trucks. Not enough trucks were being made and therefore the only trucks left to sell were used. Used trucks became more expensive than new trucks. Dang. Yeah. That's wow. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna pay for a used beat up truck more than you are gonna pay for a new truck. Yeah, you didn't know? No, I didn't know. Yeah, it's kinda crazy. Uh, That's why we had to do what we had to do. Well, here, well here's, here's the deal I got for you. Okay. I'll sell you that right over there for half the price you paid for that. When did this turn into you trying to get money for me? <laughs> well, I've always, always tried to do that. Yeah, you, know, you, you know knew, you are. You, you never knew that. But, that was me calling about the your extended warranties. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Busting out that weird accent you do. Oh yeah. Hola folks. Your extended warranty has expired. <laughs> your car's extended warranty has expired. If I got that voice over the phone, I would give you every bit of personal information I have. <laughs> the good news is my dad had two rules. Number one, don't buy new trucks. Number two, find yourself a nice piece of meat to keep you warm in the winter time, am I right? <laughs> but seriously, he said, if you if you buy a brand new truck and you drive it off the lot, it's gonna lose like $2,000 worth. It depreciates as it soon just as it drives off the lot. Immediately, two, two grand. I learned that in financials of accounting. When you drive a new car off a lot or purchase anything brand new, as soon as it gets turned over to your hands the money depreciates Frick. if you sell the truck you sell it for less than you paid for it also if you guys want to subscribe to davy gravy's financial accounting class <laughs> call 1-800-1-800 it's code gravy <laughs> yeah go ahead and plug your code this is a great video to plug your code or, or use code ao he, he can teach you the ins and outs of boy scouts i didn't go through boy scouts so i i went once color color and cheat and that was it <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyway, anyway, trucks, trucks, the, the point of this video, <laughs> for you unsubscribe and, and tell your friends to leave. And go be accountants. <laughs> so Dave, I, I want to nobody else here with me, but me and you, to tell you that I've ordered a 2022 F-250. <laughs> so, I mean, is, is that impressive or cool or? That's crazy. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> I know I'm probably gonna get roasted for this, but I ended up getting a gas burner, not a diesel. Oh. I <laughs> thought you would be the only guy that would be like, nah, bro, you're good. Diesel, I mean. I ended up ordering a 7.3 liter gas burner V8 engine, F-250 four-door Super Crew, so we can fit Davey Gravy, the new camera guy, the old sugar mama in there and we can also pull directly behind me this is what inspired me to step up to a 2500 to, to a little bit heavier truck that could actually handle a boat with so much oomph girth nice got a big girth underneath it so the itty bitty was actually what inspired me the most in what truck i decided to buy i know a lot of you expect me to quit but it's just not my DNA. So two days ago, 
hopped in the truck with my dad. We ended up driving to Pell City, Alabama, and we picked up four door 2022 F250. <laughs> you ready? Here we go again. <laughs> This is a truck. <laughs> I just ran my knee into <laughs> tore my ACL. <laughs> you can take your take your blindfold off. Well, bro, what do you think? <laughs> well, my knee is dislocated all the way back to China and back. Oh, oh good looking truck. Yeah, yeah. Nice little knee print on the front of it for you. It's pretty sturdy, huh? Yeah, it is. Now, everybody heard my knee hit it all the way back in Belgium. <laughs> Well, folks, it's been long enough. If I leave Davey blindfolded anymore, he might just total my new truck as well. So it's time to show you guys the new truck, aka my new monthly bill for the next 85 years. Behind me is a 2022 F-250 four-door super crew, four-wheel drive. <clears throat> 7.3 <grass> burner. <clears throat> Gatorade for your mm -hmm. long trips. Mm -hmm. nice. It's starting to rain, but I I got a gas burner. I know a lot of you wanted to see me get a diesel or a dually, but the simple truth is I didn't really need a diesel or a dually. The itty bitty f <laughs> the itty bitty fully outfitted only weighs six thousand pounds. The tow capacity of an F two fifty is. 12,005. Oh, my door's open. Frick me, dude. <laughs> Frick, new car wash? Yeah, new car wash for sure. <laughs> we'll carry this on in a little bit. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. It's moments like this where I realize just how blessed I am, how grateful I am to have as many fellow Sally Whackers tuning into the channel every week. It's pretty crazy. Kind of just blows my mind. $108 to fill up three-fourths of the tank. Three-fourths. I'm about to start a AO fishing fracking company. Gee dang it. I know half of you probably see four bucks and think, dang, that's cheap. That's double what we like to pay down here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just a little saliva. Keep that lens nice and lubricated. I'm actually averaging right now without towing anything around 14 miles to the gallon. But I imagine when we hook up the old itty bitty, that could change drastically. When it comes to the truck bed, oh, I ended up going with, oh, I ended up just sticking with a regular size bed. I'm a six foot two man, debatable, but I'm six foot two for sure. And if me and Davey ever had to sleep in the bed of my truck, it would be a lot better situation than my last truck. I didn't need the extended bed. I can fit all the way in here if I need to fits fishing rods just fine. I think eventually I might have to get a truck bed liner, especially with all the crap that I'm hauling off doing boat projects. But for now, the bed is perfect. Ah. The bed comes equipped with a few different tie downs so we can strap kayaks and stuff in here. I didn't realize this when I purchased the truck. It naturally sits at what feels like a two or a three inch lift. I don't know if you could tell or not, but the truck sits pretty dang high. Now, uh, when it comes 
to the interior. The lowest trim package you can get is the XL, and the one above the lowest is the XLT. This truck is the XLT. It just doesn't feel right hopping in a new truck. I, I don't know. It'll probably feel right in 45 days when that first payment hits the bank account. So the interior of the truck is, is one step above the lowest trim package that Ford sells. I bought this truck with the intentions to pull the itty bitty to wherever it may need to go. A lot of people in, enjoy having a nice truck and, and don't get me wrong, I am so stoked to have a truck that, that I enjoy looking at, but the main objective in buying a new truck was getting something that was reliable, strong enough, something that I knew when, when I had my employees and my friends, everybody with me in the car and we're pulling a heavy boat, that we're not gonna be putting anybody in danger. The interior is pretty cut and dry. We have cloth seats, they're actually pretty comfortable they're they're not leather but honestly don't even like the smell of leather so you know to each his own we got the functional air conditioning i did not realize how nice it is to have a truck that connects to your phone bluetooth this truck might not have heated seats or the little things that give you a little rectal punch every time you go out of your lane but one of the cool things the, the main reason i went from xl to xlt is the truck has a pretty cool capability where it can tell you the blind spots of the trailer that you have when i go to shift lanes and the itty bitty tries to eat a minivan the truck will will give me a heads up i am pumped out of this world i i absolutely love the truck i don't want anything more than this it is exactly what i always dreamed of and i'm looking forward to having our new truck payment so in three days of owning this bad girl, I found that carpet and me might not be the best of friends. I'm gonna leave the tires that it already has on it just cause I like saving 0.2 on my gas mileage. My wife is on the shorter side and we need some step sides so they can get in and out of the truck a little bit better. You guys already know Davy Gravy is a sweet prince. I can't have either people in my love triangle face planting as they hop out of a truck. Who knew wind advisories were so serious? I guess while we seek some refuge, I could let you know of today's video sponsor, Decked. I reached out to Decked the second I ordered this F-250. They make it super easy to find the right system for your truck. The deck truck bed, the deck truck beds, the deck truck beds. People wonder why I only upload once a week. The decked truck bed system provides you with two drawers that are the full length of your truck bed. They come with dividers, boxes, everything you need to organize your, your gear and tools. I've finally been able to organize my fishing tackle, all my tools, all my gear, so there's no more forgetting what I need when I get to the water or a project. Everything's safely stored away in weatherproof, secure drawers, right there at my waist, ready to go. Also for the skeptics, this puppy's rated for a 2,000 pound payload. If you guys want a deck system that's made 100% in the USA, fits perfect into your truck bed, and gives you two drawers that are the full length of your bed to organize all your tools, make sure to go to decked.com slash AOFishing or click on the link in the top of the description. Now back to the video. Well, I think it's time we finally do something about the pile of trash. Oh my gosh. Oh. This stuff is so waterlogged. Super glad I didn't get a liner. I actually think these 30 year old gas tanks could be worth something. We'll keep them to the side for now. Last night I walked outside because I heard some commotion in the houseboat. About five squirrel sized rats ran over my feet. To say the least, I lost every bit of my composure. Ugh. Looking better. We might actually have two truckloads, which is kind of ridiculous. I was genuinely hoping I would never have to see you again. Kinda was thinking out of sight, out of mind. But here we are, and whatever's inside of you has been soaking in the rain, baking in the sun. 
<laughs> there's not many people that make a new truck video and throw a crapper in it. The worst part is it landed upside down and there was something in there. <coughs> oh gosh. Ah, I hear it rattling around. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. <coughs> um, excuse me. No. Oh. <coughs> We're good. <coughs> We're good. I just need to buy some pants. That'd be a really good investment. New truck video. Love it. This is why I can't have nice things. We got a pretty healthy size. We got a pretty healthy size load. The dump's not too far and I don't want to throw any two by fours the back window just yet. Give it at least a week before we need immediate repairs. Okay, itty bitty bathroom. You've lived rent free in my head and my yard for the past month and I've had enough. Oh, we're gonna try to keep the trash that's in there, in there. Ah. Yeah. sounded good we also have a lot of the poplar that i mistakenly put in the boat untreated there's no nails in the wood so might have a little bonfire out here soon yummy probably a mistake oh yes Kill it, burn the glutes, baby. I always talk trash about my old truck, but to be honest, I do miss it. It was reliable, wasn't the best looker, but felt free in that girl. So there's nails on the back of this one. Good to know. Go ahead and crab walk her on back. Come on over here, girl. No. It's okay. Most of it fell in the sink. No. Don't you break, girl. You are better than that. Easy. We are loaded up, ready to go. Just drug eight screws with 100 pounds of force on top of each of them across the tailgate. So new truck is getting put to work quick. Can't wait till this truck smells like fish slime and BO. It's coming soon. Also got some 10 year old porta potty in the mix. So some good things brewing. I'm gonna rush the bathroom to the dump before the rain hits. I never in, in a million years would have ever guessed that the channel would be trending in the direction that it's going, but I am so thankful. It's been a crazy ride to this point. I know it's gonna be a wild summer. Camera guy is moving in Friday. First couple weeks, we'll be training behind the scenes, doing a lot of the boring stuff. But this summer should be some of the most epic content that has ever seen this channel. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. I will see you on the next one. Peace. January, February, March. Is that right? I'm not good with my, with my months. <laughs> Do we need to go back to kindergarten and relearn our months again? Don't worry, I'll go I'll go with you to make you feel comfortable. That would be that would be a heck of a series. AO and Davy Gravy go back to kindergarten. Probably fail out. Oh man, we probably would we, we would be so bad we wouldn't take our naps. I wouldn't nap with you. <laughs> Still feel like I just don't.